Well, I'm going to a little event in a couple of hours, a potluck, and I'm going to bring some baked items. Uh, I made some banana bread from a Dollar Tree banana bread mix, and now I'm going to make some peanut butter cookies from another Dollar Tree mix, the Betty Crocker peanut butter cookies. I'm using both of these for a couple of reasons. I'm really trying to cut down on some of the packages of things I have in the pantry. I have some Christmas baking coming up and I just want to consolidate in there. One thing I do like about these Dollar Tree mixes is their ingredients are usually really simple. This one has two tablespoons of vegetable oil and one tablespoon of water. The banana nut bread I made only calls for half a cup of milk and I've even made it with half a cup of water. So these are great for last minute events. This video is part of a collaboration named Flower It Up. It's hosted by Ashley and Amy Martin of Martin Midlife Misadventures. Well, I have the oven set for um, 350 and I'm gonna put my two tablespoons of vegetable oil in there. I mean, this is great, no eggs, nothing. There's one, there's, there's two, and I'm gonna go ahead and add a tablespoon of water. Here we go. And those are your ingredients. What could be easier than that? Give it a good mix until all the dry ingredients are moistened. I'm going to be using my cookie scoop here. This is a two teaspoon one. Got two of them. I think the other one is a, maybe a tablespoon. This is a good size. What I like about this is that they, um, let me do it on this side, is that they uh, give a fairly even size cookie. I've used spoons too. This is a little better. I'm going to be smashing these down with the fork and adding some sugar, so I want things to be fairly uniform. Let's see if, if we make 12 cookies or what comes out. So I did get 12 on the sheet, but I have some left over, so I'll just do a second round. What I'm going to do right now is flatten these with the fork, and then I'm going to put some sugar on top, just like this. I don't think they're gonna spread too much. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish these. There they are crisscrossed with the fork. I find that if the fork starts to stick, I just run the fork under some water and get it wet and it stops sticking. I usually put uh, turbinado sugar on this, but because I'm feeling too lazy to go into the pantry, I'm just gonna grab some white sugar. White sugar is just fine. And sprinkle the tops of those. All right, the first 12 are done. Oven's preheated to 350. It says eight to 10 minutes. So I'm gonna stick them in. All right, so time's up and we've let them get a little brown on the bottom. And they say to let these sit on the pan for about two minutes. So we're gonna do that. So it's been about two minutes and let's see what's going on here. Absolutely perfect. I don't know how this is coming up on the, um, on the camera, but they are perfect underneath. Whoops, I just broke one. There you go. So I'm going to take these off and put them on the cooling rack. Well, here they are, all baked, ready to go. Makes uh, 16 cookies if you use that two teaspoon cookie scoop. Once they're cooled, I'm going to pop them in this container, just like I've done with the banana bread. If you can see that there, chocolate chip banana bread. Um, I'm going to a picnic in the park, so things don't need to be formal. And um, if something happens, the container won't be the end of the world. I'm also going to put a couple more labels around both of the plastic containers so that people know what they're getting into. Anyway, hopefully you found this tutorial useful. These Dollar Tree cookies are really great. Thank you so much for watching.